the underlying theme of this presentation today is that the diseases that afflict Americans are unnatural. They're not the result of genetics, predominantly from aging. In other words, cancer, heart attacks, strokes, dementia don't have to happen. And they shouldn't happen if we live in a manner in the, to live the way the bodies have been made and biologically designed, if we live a natural life, consume the nutrients humans require to be normal, being normal means no cancer. This idea that, you know, if you smoke cigarettes, you get lung cancer, but lung cancer didn't exist thousands of years ago. People didn't smoke cigarettes 30,000 years ago. We're not going to suddenly invent this magic pill that people can take to allow them to smoke three packs of cigarettes a day and not get lung cancer. We're not going to invent a magic pill that you're going to be able to eat the American diet with all the high glycemic processed carbohydrates and all the grilled and barbecue and all that animal products that create breast cancer and not get breast cancer. You can get all the mammograms and give all the billions of dollars for, for pink ribbons and, and for breast cancer research. We're not going to solve these issues as long as Americans continue to incur the cause of disease and the disease of, and here's the good news, the diseases that cause, the foods that cause breast cancer and prostate cancer also cause heart attacks and strokes and dementia. So this lecture is predominantly about living life, life healthfully without cancer, but the side effect is you don't have heart disease, strokes or dementia either when you live this way. Okay? So let's get started. Because I'm suggesting that these advances in nutritional science enable us to take control of our health destiny, apply them in a delicious way in our life today, and remove the fear and the terror that hangs over our heads. The fear and the terror of medical care and medical treatment that tortures people with almost no benefit, with almost minimal to no benefit. In other words, we have so much tragedy and human suffering that just doesn't have to be. Now, my purpose in talking today is that you get a good foundation on the most important principles that enable your protection against cancer. And I want you to be able to understand it so you can articulate it well. In other words, to be successful, to enjoy it, to be able to do it day to day in your own life, you have to thoroughly comprehend and understand the principles. It takes some work for you to become a nutritional expert. And then you have to put on the oxygen mask on yourself first and do it and live the life. And then you get superpowers. Real superpowers. You know, look, think about this for a minute. It's important. You know, if you had superpowers like Superman where you can emit, you know, rays of um, heat and burn things in your eyes or see through things or fly through the air of super strength. That would be great if you were trying to kill aliens from another country or another planet or, or to fight other aliens and other superpowered people, but that's nonsense, right? The real superpowers, that's not going to benefit you to have those kind of superpowers. The real superpowers that really benefits people is your ability to control your health, never get sick, never have a serious disease, and have that knowledge and have that ability to touch and share with other people so that your loved ones and your community and the people you care about and share, you can have them not get heart attacks and strokes, not get demented, not get cancer either. You can radiate out with the superpower to help your communities and to love other, other people. That's the real superpowers we need, right? It's the most important thing you can possibly have. We have these superpowers available to us, better than being Superman. So before we get started, let me ask you a question. Raise your hand if somebody in your neighborhood, oh, let me, raise your hand if somebody in your family, somebody in your immediate family has ever been stabbed by a knife. Raise your hand, stabbed by a knife. Come on, up, up, stand by a knife, raise your hand. Okay, let's try something else. Raise your hand if somebody has been shot by a bullet. Shot by a bullet, raise your hand. Two people, one person, okay, great. Now raise your hand if anybody, it's good, 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 good. Now raise your hand if anybody has ever had a heart attack or a stroke or have a cancer. Now raise your hand. Everybody, you know. Here's the thing. If I was living in that neighborhood, I'd get the hell out of there. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be in that neighborhood at all, right? Do something different. 
Why would you put up with that? Why would anybody stand for everybody they know getting heart attacks and strokes and cancers? This is insane. It's crazy. Get out of there now, right? So how do you get out of there? Well, that's what this is about. Let's get, you ready to get started? Enough fun? Now the hard stuff? Okay, it's not hard. It's very simple. Because food gives us nutrients, two types of nutrients. It gives us macronutrients, which, are, which have calories in them, predominantly fat, carbohydrate, and protein. And the more macronutrients you eat, the shorter you live. Okay? Americans eat about twice as much, at least probably 500 calories more than they need of protein, carbohydrate, and fat. And one thing we know, the only thing ever proven in the history of science is that when you exceed your caloric requirements, you dramatically shorten your lifespan. And the only thing proven to extend the lifespan of almost every species of animals, and not just animals, but even insects, fruit flies, worms, rats, dogs, cats, monkeys, you name it, if you feed them, moderately restrict their calories in an environment of micronutrient excellence, they radically live longer radically live longer and don't get cancer. And so Americans are eating a diet very high in micronutrients, but the American diet is ubiquitously deficient in micronutrients like vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals and antioxidants, which do not contain calories. This is relatively simple. It's you need to eat a diet that gives you an excellent supply and a broad spectrum of all the micronutrients humans need without exceeding your requirement, without exceeding your requirement for calories. You got that? Can you guys articulate and say what I just said to you back at me? You have to eat a diet high in micronutrients and rel you know, relatively low in calories, but rich in micronutrients. You got it? Yes? Okay, great. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's go home. It's that simple. Oh, should I drop my clicker and the fell apart there? Well, that's okay. It's still working. But it is that simple, right? Because let's say, for example, because we're talking about cancer here too, right? And the standard American diet has more than half of its processed junk food. Pasta, salad oil, mayonnaise, donuts, cookies, crackers, rice cakes, breakfast rice, chips, soft drinks, and breakfast cereals, and all kinds of candy and, right, garbage. It's, those are calories with no significant micronutrient load. And let me tell you, every bite of a calorie with no nutrients in it shortens your lifespan. Every bite of that pasta, every pouring of that oil, every that breakfast cereal, those cornflakes, those Fritos, the right, every, every time you flood your body with calories with no nutrients, you're taking away days of your life and years of your life. Extra calories, especially calories that don't contain nutrients, are dangerous and, co and cause cancer. And then Americans eat about a third of their diet from animal products, right? Now, animal products are like processed foods because they don't contain a significant load of antioxidants and micronutrients and phytochemicals, and they don't have fiber. They're a rich source, they're a concentrated source of calories, and especially a concentrated source of protein. An excess amount of protein has a more powerful hormonal effect on accelerating aging than even having excess of other macronutrients because protein drives growth and drives growth of cells and drives, and drives cancer cells to grow. Because when we're no longer growing, we reach our adult height and we promote hormones that promote excess growth, what's gonna grow on us? Cancer. And protein drives growth. This could, I always say that this American diet with less than 5% of calories of produce, and it says 11%, but I'm saying 5%, because they include white, you know, French fries and, and ketchup and a lot of things that aren't produce, aren't real produce in that, five, in that 11%. But I'm saying this diet has been beautifully designed by Al-Qaeda <laughs> to kill people. You know, I said that on PBS, but they cut it out. They, they wouldn't let me say that. And they made it so, me sound so stupid. On PBS, here's what I'm saying. I didn't really say this. It says, that diet's been designed by Darth Vader. That's what they have me saying on PBS television. I'm so embarrassed about that. I hope you'll forgive me. It wasn't my joke. My joke was Al-Qaeda. <laughs> I don't know who they're worried we're going to offend here. 
I couldn't offend Cookie Monster or anything. It was amazing. I couldn't even call him Vegetable Monster. I, every joke they twisted, they changed. It was, like a, so, it was ridiculous. I shouldn't complain. I love PBS. They enable me to bring my scientific message directly to America without commercial interests and commercial, you know, telling you what you can and cannot say. When you want a regular television show, like, you know, some of the shows you know I've been on or I've, you know, the regular TV shows, you can't say what you want. And then the, then the host of the show says to me, oh, you know, Joel, I really don't think the way I'm acting on the show. I'm just saying this because of the sponsors and because of my image. But I really agree with you, but I can't agree with you on television. I have to argue with you on television. And I really, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. You got to go on. You know what I mean? 